Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Semerauer. Let's start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The site of the deadly residential fire in Las Vegas City history has new owners. The Alpine Motel apartments have been sold for $1.9 million. Its new owners plan to turn the boarded up property into modern studio apartments. Meanwhile, property records show that the former owner of the Alpine Motel, Adolfo Orozco, and companies connected to them have sold nearly all of the properties that they owned at the time of the Alpine fire. The portfolio of more than 20 properties has now been reduced to about two that Adolfo and his wife own. In December of 2019, an early morning fire at the Alpine killed six residents and injured 13. And UNLV has suspended the fraternity that sponsored a boxing match that led to a student's death. Officials say Kappa Sigma Fraternity was suspended pending a review of the November 19th charity match. 20-year-old student Nathan Valencia died from blunt head trauma sustained in the fight. Kappa Sigma will be expected to halt all activities while it is suspended. And the Clark County School Board has approved $3.5 billion of projects over the next 14 years. The project includes five new high schools, 10 new elementary schools, and a renovation of the Las Vegas Academy of the Arts. In a letter to the board, Henderson Mayor Deborah March expressed concern that the projects don't include a traditional high school for her city. A new career and technical academy has already been approved for Wes Henderson. This NFR report is sponsored by Silverton Casino Hotel. Join them nightly for Wrangler NFR viewing and after parties. Cowboy Christmas at the Las Vegas Convention Center kicked off Wednesday evening with a tree lighting ceremony, performances, and a rodeo fashion show. The Western-themed gift show has been a tradition since 1986, one year after NFR first came to Las Vegas. In addition to the more than 350 vendors from across the country on display, there will be concerts and shuttle service to the events at the Thomas & Mack. Cowboy Christmas continues through December 11th. Now let's take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. Mostly sunny skies are forecasted for your Thursday, 71 degrees for the highs with light winds coming from the west. Tonight, mostly clear skies, lows sitting around 49 degrees. For the rest of the week, sunny and cool, we will stay in the low 70s, 71 degrees by Saturday. The cool down will continue through the weekend, possibly hitting the upper 60s for the daytime highs next week. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians is one step closer to taking over the Palms. The Nevada Gaming Control Board voted unanimously to recommend a license for the tribe to acquire the resort just off the Las Vegas Strip. The state's Gaming Commission will consider that recommendation on December 16th. If the deal is approved, the Palms, which has been closed since the start of the pandemic, would become the first Las Vegas casino owned and operated by a Native American tribe. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $100 when you sign up. The Raiders signed free agent long snapper Carson Tinker on Wednesday as they wait to find out the status of Trent Seed, who was placed on the reserve COVID-19 list on Monday. Tinker spent his first six years with the Jacksonville Jaguars and played eight games with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this season. We, we had a couple options, a couple different guys, and he, he's um, played recently. He's played in over 70 games, and, and he's got a lot of experience. I think he played as recent as three weeks ago. So um, we're fortunate we can get him in here, um, and he f passes all the protocol, and he had a good day today, and he'll get a little bit better tomorrow. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Dallas Cowboys are five-point road favorites and minus 210 on the money line at Circus Sports for tonight's game against the New Orleans Saints that kicks off week 13 of the NFL season. The total is 47 and a half. The Cowboys have lost three of their last four games to fall to seven and four, but they are still minus 725 favorites to win the NFC East. The Saints have lost four straight, falling to five and six, and are on the fringe of the playoff race. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Glittering Lights at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, downtown Summerlin celebrates Hanukkah. The community was invited out for the fourth night of the holiday with a menorah lighting ceremony along with sweet treats, ice skating, and more. And the Mint 400 is back. The off-road race returns to Southern Nevada for its 36th edition and kicked off in Las Vegas with a parade and festival. Over 450 teams in different classes of off-road vehicles are expected to compete in the 400-mile marathon. It begins in Prim on Saturday. 
In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental Love Your Smile again in honor of World AIDS Day, a new clinic opens at a local church. The sexual health clinic is in partnership between the Southern Nevada Health District and All Saints Episcopal Church in Central Las Vegas. With the opening of this clinic at, uh, at All Saints Episcopal Church, we are making HIV testing more accessible to people in our community in a location that provides a safe space and environment. The clinic will provide HIV tests and other services related to sexually transmitted diseases. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada Italian songstress Giada Valenti is expected to bring some holiday magic to Las Vegas. Review Journal's Jen Ah has more on her upcoming Christmas show. Well, Renee, talk about a romantic take on Christmas. Giada Valenti's new show is called Love Under the Christmas Tree. She also just dropped a new holiday song, Silent Night, sung both in English and Italian. Giada Valenti is not only known for her sultry voice, but her amazing cooking skills. Our very own entertainment columnist, John Katsimidis, got a chance to sit down with her and chat. Because cooking, it's music, it's love. That's what my grandmother used to say. When you cook, actually, every anybody and everybody can cook. Just put passion in it. Uh, love, under the tree. love under See, the Christmas love tree. Love under the Christmas tree. Love under the Christmas tree. Um, what, take us through what the, what, who's going to be with you, what kind of band you're going to have. It's what? about love, but of course I'm going to sing all these love songs that everybody knows in several languages, like you said. Mm -hmm. People can buy tickets to sit at the Smith Center, or they can also buy a ticket to watch it on live stream. Oh, streaming. cool. Yeah, okay. because many of my fans are all over the world yeah. and they couldn't be here in Vegas. Giada Valenti's Love Under the Christmas Tree is set to kick off Sunday night at 7 at Myron's at the Smith Center. Renee. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.